We continue to track that damage left from Harvey. At least one person confirmed dead in Rockport. Channel 5's Leslie Aguilera spent the morning there where Harvey hit as a category 4 hurricane late last night. Leslie. Right now, officials in Aransas County are urging people who are still here to leave and not come back until authorities can get things under control. I want you to take a look at some of the damage people are dealing with. We're at Rockport Fulton High School or what's left of one of their gyms. It's just a mangled mess of metal and cinder block and we can tell you there are dozens of other damaged buildings just like this one across Rockport. There's also no cell service, no gas and no electricity. Saturday morning in Rockport, dawn revealed the devastation. Everywhere you look, destroyed property, snapped trees and downed power lines. When the wind died down, the real work started. Stay where you're at. You hurt? You okay? All right. First responders pulled out people who were trapped inside their homes, like this man who survived Harvey in a trailer. Armando Rodriguez stuck the storm out in a nearby elementary school. Look a mess. He's now one of hundreds left without a home. We've been hit by the big one. The Aransas County judge and Fulton mayor say they're getting help from all over the state to clear roads, assess damage, and account for citizens. We've got to check homes, we've got to check for people, we got to see where they are. We also have to feed people, we got to find food. Tomorrow's dawn will bring more hurdles. The community is braced to face them. DPS is sending buses to transport people out of the area. There's still no estimation on how many structures are damaged or how many people are displaced. Also no word on what will happen to students at the school district here or when cell service or power will be back up. Reporting from Rockport Fulton High School, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News, this weekend.